Hello, Gwenda. Hi. Um, Hi. Yeah. I'm from, I'm from, I'm from in Caracas, Venezuela. Well, okay. I hope you enjoy. Are you there for Christmas? Hi. Now, this, uh, yes. this iPhone de Elena, is that you? Yes. Okay, let's see if we can remove it. In Caracas, Venezuela. All right. <laughs> yes. Did you have a good trip? Oh, yeah, my house. <laughs> Did you have a good trip? Yes. Good. <laughs> Well, let's see who else is coming. I see. Now, one thing we in my class, in your class. One thing we need to talk about is what days we're going to be together. Right now, the way I understand it, the we'll meet. Now, let me check, let me check just to be sure. There's, okay. Hi, Norma. Hi. Lena's in Venezuela. <laughs> yes. Lena's in Venezuela. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we need to decide what days we want to be together and what days we don't with Christmas coming up. Now, next week is the 13th. The next week is the Monday before Christmas. The next week is the Monday between Christmas and New Year's. And the next month, uh, next week is the Monday just after New Year's. So do we want to oh. meet any of those three days? So we need to three decide days. tonight. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Maybe uh, uh, in Monday, the um, before, uh, around. around Christmas. A ver, ven, Jose, para que digas, por favor. Si habló de las Navidades, dijo que qué. Yo pienso que es que dice la pregunta, pregunta de las clases de, para, para los días festivos, que cuál, o que si queremos estar uh -huh. en la o que si queremos, este, O, o que si no queremos la clase. pero yo le digo que, que pues tal vez yo el lunes de la semana de navidad no pueda tomarla pues yo tampoco por eso ¿Sí? digo vacation ajá a ver dile José que, que Lina dice y yo que la semana de vacaciones de la semana de Christmas no nos vamos a poder mm -hmm. conectar oh so she's saying that uh, her and Lina are saying that they can't they won't be able to connect the uh, Monday that's in the week of, of Christmas. Right. That would be the 20th. Well, here's Nancy. We need to ask her too. Nancy, we're talking about what days we're going to meet. Next Monday is the 13th. Mm -hmm. The next Monday is the 20th. And that's the Monday just before Christmas. Christmas is a Friday. The next Monday is the 27th, and that's the Monday between Christmas and New Year's. And the next Monday is the 4th, which is the Monday just after New Year's. So 
if we meet next week, that would be the 13th, and then not meet again until the 10th. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying, Norma? Uh-huh. Okay. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Lena. Hi, Norma. Hi, Hi Mrs. Wanda. Hi. <laughs> so, but Hi. is that what your son is saying? I am, I am in Venezuela. Oh, okay. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I asked her if she had a good trip and she didn't tell me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, Norma, is that what your son <laughs> said? Good. Um, Norma, uh -huh. may I talk with your son? Is he still right there? Uh-huh. Jose. El, el lunes que viene, sí, nada más la semana de Christmas, no. Okay, so she said um, next Monday, she will just say on the Monday that comes like Christmas week, like Christmas week on um, that Monday, she won't be able to. Okay. So next week is the 13th, so that'll be okay. Uh huh. But the 20th, no. The 20th, no. Uh -huh. no. The 27th, no. No. tampoco ustedes? No. Ah, bueno, está bien. Entonces, para que estemos todas, ¿verdad? Para que pasemos esas dos semanas, ¿verdad? Que es de como de vacaciones de los niños y eso. Uh -huh. Está bien. Ok. José, 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 the 3rd of January. Is that a no? Ajá, dile que las dos semanas. No, en enero sí. In January, she said she will. Uh, so Nancy, what about you? Um, maybe I can't not come to the class because I celebrate the Three Kings six January. Is so, important for me and for my children this week? Okay, so we won't meet on January third. So we'll meet next week, December 13th, and then no more until January 10th. Okay, okay Jose? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, someone explain that to Lena to be sure she understands. Okay, Lena, eh, vamos a tener clase el lunes próximo. Uh -huh. Y cogemos vacaciones y regresamos el 10 de enero. Okay, thank you. Porque vamos Happy a partir antes de mayo. Happy Christmas. <laughs> vamos yes. a tener libre, Adiós. vamos a tener libre el 20, 27 Adiós. y el 13. Okay. Okay. Para <laughs> New Year. Thank you. That's you too. right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, there was only what? Um, Lilia last week? No, Lilia and Nancy last week, and Lilia's gone this week. Mm -hmm. So. We have fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. But we needed to figure this part out. Okay, so our verse today is found in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32. And it says, be kind and tenderhearted to one another. Basically, it's be nice. And 
I don't know if you can see. I broke, I, broke, I broke my collarbone. And it's been amazing. The neighbor across the street comes and picks up my trash and delivers me the mail. Another neighbor across the street starts my car ever so often to be sure it goes. Uh, a friend from church is going to take me to my various doctor's appointments. Another friend from church is going to take me to church. Another friend from church has brought me some um, food. Well, actually, several friends have brought me food. They're being nice. They're being kind. Mm -hmm. And one thing I found is that I'm kind to you, then you're going to be kind to me back. But that's not the way it says. It says, me be kind, and then maybe you'll be kind. I can't promise on you. I can only promise on me. So let's see what our... our um, vowels are so we've talked about christmas break we know about that but what are our vowels what's this one a e I o u okay any questions Okay. All right, so our textbook, we're going to start on page 112. The text, page 112, and the workbook, page 74. Okay, on page 112, it says, read a menu and order food. Mm -hmm. Listen, a customer is ordering food. Okay. Exercise 1A. Listen, a customer is ordering food. May I help you? Yes, I'd like a fish sandwich and rice. Anything else? Yes, I'd like coffee. Anything else? No, thanks. Okay, so we're all going to, well, I'm not, but you're going to play being a waitress or ordering food. So let's see what the food is that's available. So down in Peter's place, it says lunch and dinner menu. And it says it's 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So what are the different items? Um, fish sandwich? Yes. Chicken, chicken yes. sandwich? Yes. Hamburger? Yes. Taco, fresh yes. fry, baked potato, rice, green salad. Um, now, it's interesting to me, they have the fruit salad with the desserts, mm -hmm. but I always take it as a salad. Mm -hmm. I don't think of it as a dessert. I think of it as a salad. So you can order whatever you want. So, one person is going to be the waitress, and you're going to ask, uh, what do you want um, to eat? And then the other person is going to order items. Okay, any questions? So, Lena, you be the first uh -huh. waitress. And you said you'll be the waitress and Norma will tell you what she wants to eat. Okay. It, it, 
It's this book, page 112. Miss Wanda, the page is 107. Uh-oh, you're telling me I messed up? Wait, I almost messed up and knocked over my water. I thought we did this last time, but we can do it again. All right, so we'll go back page 100. Play, play, 100. 107. 107. No. Okay, uh -huh. that's this page. And the page that we are doing is just like it, but it doesn't give you the full conversation. Okay, okay. This page? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. And okay. you're the waitress, Lena. Why You're the waitress, so you ask Norma, what would you like to eat? Eat. Okay. Norma, you be the waitress and Nancy be the customer. So Norma, ask Nancy what she wants to eat. Mm -hmm. um, are you ready to order? I like a uh, chicken sandwich, um, juice, fresh fries, and ice cream. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. Nancy, you're the waitress, and Lena, you're going to order a meal. Okay. Are you ready to order? Yes. I. You are the customer. Please, thank you. Friend, please, P. Okay. So now, Lena, you're the waitress and Norma's the um, uh, customer. And remember, Lena's in Venezuela. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Lena, what uh, ask Norma what she wants to order? Okay. Yes. Yes. I am a customer. Potato, rice, green salad, meal. I'm okay. <laughs> so now, Norma, you're the waitress and Nancy's the customer. Okay. Um, are you ready, Jordan? Okay. I'd like. Uh, Fish sandwich, baked potato, iced tea, and cake. Okay, so Nancy, you're the waitress and Lena is the customer. Are you ready to order? Yes. Uh, you. You. 
ad uguale green sala chicken sun IT Okay, now Lena, you're the waitress and you ask Norma what she wants to order. A customer is ordering food? Yes, Norma's ordering. Usted me va a preguntar a mí qué quiero ordenar. Uh -huh. uh, Usted dice lo de la letra A. Hey. Ah. Uh -huh. A, ¿no? Ajá. Letra A, ¿no? Don, ajá, ¿dónde? Dale, Walter, go, a for the customer long order. Mm -hmm. I like a uh, chicken sandwich, um, baked potato, and tea. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, why do you order um, a the custom and long order? Algo más? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Lena, Sometimes we don't get all of your words, so you may have to repeat them. The connection is not as good as it's been at, uh, the last time you were in Venezuela. All right, now going on to page 113. It says, write a shopping list. Listen. Peter and Wendy are talking about a shopping list. Page 113, exercise 2A, listen. Peter and Wendy are talking about a shopping list. What do we need from the store? We need a bag of rice and two dozen eggs. Anything else? Yes, a pound of grapes and two pounds of chicken. Okay. All right. Now think about what you would make in a shopping list, things that you would mm -hmm. buy. Now, may, mm -hmm. don't think about a Christmas shopping list because that might be kind of long. But think <laughs> about several things that you would like to buy and put, put them in uh, the shopping list.
Is everyone finished? So Norma, what did you write in your shopping list? Um, my shopping list, uh, I need one pound tomatoes, one pound of chicken, two boxes of cereal, one dozen egg, one bag of rice. Okay, so Nancy, what did you put in your shopping list? Okay, I love a bread, one dozen eggs, two cans of soup, two boxes of cereal, a gallon of milk, two bags of rice, and two pounds of ground beef. Okay, so Lena, what did you put in your shopping list? Uh, uh, a pound. A pound and rice, a bag cereal, a box, mm, a box cereal, a lot of pan, a bread. Uh, dozen eggs. Okay. Now, I am going to bring up a new screen in a little bit. But um, any questions on the shopping list? Mm -mm. All right. Then in part three, it says, write about yourself use true or made up information i shop for food at what do you what's the name of your grocery store i buy that would be something that you buy i also buy something else that you buy so think about that and write about yourself Is everyone finished? 
Okay, Nancy, tell us about yourself. Okay, I shop food at Aldi. I buy salmon, cheese, um, uh, pounds of chicken. I also buy loaf of bread and eggs. Okay, so Lena, tell us about yourself. I show poor food at Aldi. I bought um, a big. Uh, I also buy fish. Okay, fish, and Norma? And um, um, chicken. Okay. Um, Norma, tell us about yourself. I shop for food at Walmart. I do uh, everything food. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, not just food at Walmart. <laughs> you can buy all kinds of things at Walmart. Okay, any questions? So now we're on page 114 in the textbook. And this is starting a whole new unit. And this says seven, apartment for rent, lesson one, rooms in a home. So, oh, I forgot, I need to change the CD also. I changed one thing, but not everything. Okay, it says, look at the rooms in the home. Listen and point. Oh, I just lost it. Look at, listen and point. Listen and repeat. Then part B, listen and read. Listen and repeat. Unit seven, apartment for rent. Page 114, exercise A, listen and point. One, bedroom. Two, bathroom. Three, closet. Four, living room. Five, dining room. Six, kitchen. Seven, laundry room. Eight, basement. Nine, garage. Listen and repeat. One, bedroom. 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 Two, bathroom. Bathroom. Three, closet. 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 Four, living room. Living room. Living room. Five, dining room. Dining dining room. Six. Kitchen. Kitchen. Seven. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Basement. 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 Nine. Garage. 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 Page 114, exercise B, listen and read. One, bedroom. Bedroom. Two, bathroom. 
Back Three. Room. Closet. Closet. Four. Living room. Living room. Five. Dining room. Dining room. Six. Kitchen. Kitchen. Seven. Laundry room. Laundry room. Eight. Basement. Basement. Nine. Garage. Garage. Listen and repeat. One. Bedroom. One. Bedroom. Mm -hmm. Two. Bathroom. 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 Three. Closet. Closet. Four. Closet. Living room. Living room. Living room. Five. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Six. Kitchen. Kitchen. Seven. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Eight. Basement. 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 Nine. Garage. Garage. Okay, any questions? All right. Then in page 115, there is a conversation. It says, listen, listen and repeat. Page 115, exercise C, listen. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What's it like? It has a kitchen, a living room, and one bedroom. It sounds great. Listen and repeat. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What's it like? Really? What is it like? It has a kitchen, a living room, and one bedroom. It has a kitchen, a living room, and one bedroom. It sounds great. It sounds great. Okay. Great. There on the second line, it says, really, what's it like? That's what is. What is. That's a contraction of what is. What's it like? What is what what's is. like? It was. It has two bedrooms. Okay. So, Lena, would you be um, the first um, speaker? And Norma, would you be the second? So, Lena, you're A, and Norma's B. Okay. Was what had a new apartment? Really? What is like? Like, what is like? I have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, one, one kitchen, um, one living, li, li, Living living room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it sounds great. Great. Okay. It sounds great. Okay. So Norma, you'll be A and Nancy, you'll be B. Guess what? It it has I have a new apartment. Really? What is it like? It has a kitchen, a living room, and one be bedroom. It sounds great. 
Okay, so Nancy, you're A and Lena, you're B. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is like? It has a kitchen, a living room, and one bedroom. Okay. It sounds great. Okay, so Lena, you're A, and Norma, you're B. Where's what I have a new apartment? Really? What is like? I have two bedrooms, two um, back room, two uh, bedroom, and two bedroom and and kitchen and a kitchen. It sounds great, great. Uh, okay. What is the uh, pronunciation? It, it sounds. It sounds great. 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 I sound great. Great is better than good. Great. So if you want to do, oh, we lost her. If you want to do layers, great is the very best and good is just under that. Her internet wasn't as good as it was the last time she was in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Maybe it just was a bad connection. So, okay, Norma, you're A and Nancy, you'll B. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is like? It has a kitchen, a living room, and one bedroom. It sounds great. Okay, any questions? Mm -mm. So then E, look at the apartments and make new conversations. So in conversation one, I think that might have been what she was doing. I'm not sure. Maybe she was describing the house where she is. But it has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a dining room, and a kitchen. And that's conversation one. Any questions? Mm -hmm. And conversation two, it has a kitchen a living room and a bedroom. Wait a minute, no, that's a bathroom. A kitchen, a living room and a bathroom, mm -hmm. no bedroom. I've had houses like, apartments like that. And the, the couch the made out into a bed. Mm -hmm. So it was all one. Okay, any questions? Mm -mm. No. So Norma, you um, are A and Nancy B. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is like? It has a um, living room and two bedroom and one bathroom. Um, it's some gray. Okay, so Nancy, you're A and Norma's B. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is like? I have two bedroom, two bathroom, uh, living room, and one kitchen. It's some gray. <laughs> it. Some. It. Sounds great. 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 It sounds great. Sounds great. Great. Mm -hmm. great. Remember, nobody promised you that it would be easy to learn English. <laughs> okay. Now, this time, actually tell about where you live, mm -hmm. the house, apartment, where you live. 
So Norma, you be A and Nancy, you be B. Okay. Um, guess what? I have a new uh, house. Okay. <laughs> really? What, what is like? Uh, it has a three bedroom, two bathroom, a living room, a kitchen, a one garage. Does it have a dining room where the table is there? That would be a dining room. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Now then, Nancy, you're A and Norma's B. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is like? It has three bedroom, two bathroom, uh, living room, dining room, uh, laundry room, and kitchen. <laughs> oh, it sounds great. Si está bien. So do you want to do it again or no? One more. <laughs> All right. So Norma is A and Nancy is B. Guess what? I have a new house. Really? What's like? What is like? It has a two bedroom, a two bathroom, and living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room. It sounds great. Okay, so Nancy's A and Norma's B. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is it like? It's have a three bedroom, two bathroom, dinner room, a living room, a laundry room, and kitchen. It's so great. Okay. That room where you eat, where the table and chairs are, it's called a dining room. Dining room. I know. It's two different sounds of I in the same word. Garage is two different sounds of G in the same word. So, but you have that in Spanish too. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back to the workbook. And I'm going to pull that up. This is a uh, workbook is page 74. And it says apartment for rent. And it says rooms in a home. And A, look at the picture, write the rooms, use the words in the box. And if you need to, you can use the um, other book if you're not sure about a particular room. I think the hardest to see is the closet because it's kind of back there in the corner.
Okay. So, um, Norma, what's number one? It's bedroom. And number two, Nancy? Bathroom. And number three, Norma? Closet. Number four, uh, Nancy? Living room. Number five, Norma? Dining room. It's dining. Dining. Dining, dining. okay. Uh, okay, and number six, Nancy? Kitchen. And number seven, Norma? Laundry room. And number eight, Nancy? Basement. Okay, and number nine? Okay, here comes Lena again. Hopefully it's a better connection this time. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> Lena, I hope you got a better connection this time. <laughs> yes, you have. Hi. Now, last time it kept coming and going. <laughs> All right. So, Lena, we're on page 74 in the workbook. Yeah, voy a buscar el libro que, que lo, lo perdí. Perdí la página. Well, actually, we're getting ready to go to 75. ¿Cuál era la página? Número de la página, siento que. No, la 74. Pero del otro libro. Del otro libro. La 74, ok. Thank you. Oh, y aquí hubo una falla eléctrica. Ok, siete, ok, page siete, a seven, five. Yes. Ok. Yes. Letter, letter, letter B. B. Ok. Look at the apartment, right the room. That's right. Ok. Mm. Okay. I got it. Okay, is everyone finished? Mm -hmm. So yes. Nancy, um, you be A mm -hmm. on the conversation B, you be A and Lena, you'll be B. Okay, guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is like? If has two bedroom, two bathroom, a kitchen, and a living room. It sounds good. Okay, so Lena, now you're A and Norma's B. Okay. 
Who is what I had new apartment? Really? What is like? I have two bedroom. Two bathroom. Two one 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 closet one dining room one kitchen one laundry room it sounds a great okay thank you all right <laughs> any questions no. do we need to do it again Okay, so pardon? one more, yes. All right. So now Norma, you be A and Nancy B B. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is like? It has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a living room. It sounds great. Okay, so Nancy's A and Lena's B. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Really? What is line? It has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a living room. Okay, thank you. I sound great. Okay, so Lena, you're A and Norma's B. Was what I have a new apartment, Norma? Really? What is this like? I have two bedrooms, two, two bathrooms, one kitchen, one living room, one laundry room, one garage, two closets. I sound great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we need to do it again? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. So part C is read the story. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to read it to yourself. And then part D is read the story again and circle yes or no. Mm -hmm. If it's in the story, it's yes. If it's not in the story, it's no. Okay. Is everyone finished? Yes. All right. So, Nancy, um, what's number one? The apartment has two bedrooms. Yes. Okay. And Lena, what's number two? It has two bedrooms. No. Yeah. One bedroom. That's right. And so, number three, Norma. It has a living room, yes. And number four, Nancy? It has a dining room, no. And number five, Lena? Yes, I have a kitchen. <laughs> and number six, Norma? It has a laundry room, no. Okay, any questions? So now back to the other book. If I can get hold of it. All right. And 
part and page 116. It says lesson two, ask about apartments. There is, there are. So when you're talking about one, you say is. There is one bedroom, there is one kitchen. But when you're talking about two or more, it's there are. There are two bedrooms. There are two bathrooms. Okay, so in part A, it says, listen and point to the rooms, listen and repeat. So these are words that describe the room, tell about the room. Mm -hmm. So Lena, we're in the, the textbook and page 116. Okay, one moment. Okay. All right, so listen and point to the rooms, listen and repeat. Okay. Listen and point to this room. Exercise A. Listen and point. One. Sunny. Sunny. Two. Modern. Modern. Three. Large. Large. Four. Small. Small. Listen and repeat. One. Sunny. Sunny. Mm -hmm. Two. Modern. Modern. Three. Large. Large. Four. Small. Okay, any questions? Um, number two, the pronunciation is modern. Modern. We got ma ma dern ma der ma der and you actually say that in but you don't hear it it's not a real strong in like nancy is a strong in this is modern it's it's a very light in modern modern Morning. Any other questions? Morning. Morning. Okay. Then part B is a conversation. Listen, listen, and repeat. Mm -hmm. Page 116. Exercise B. Listen. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, a modern kitchen, and a large living room. It sounds nice. It sounds nice. Listen and repeat. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, a modern yeah. kitchen and a large yeah. living room. There is a sunny bedroom, a modern kitchen, and a large living room. It sounds nice. It sounds nice. It sounds nice. Sound nice. You look at the picture of the sunny room, it means that there's sun in there a lot of the time. My bedroom doesn't have much sun because it's on the north, the north and the west. So at the end of the day, I get sun, but most of the time I don't get sun. But my kitchen, it gets sun most of the day. So it would be sunny. Modern is going to be, well, you look down there at the very bottom, 
the the cabinets are all shiny. It's not going to be wood. It's going to be metal, and maybe a shiny metal at that. Um, large and small, those are kind of easy to understand. Mm -hmm. But um, just just think about what the words are as you're saying it. Okay, so um, Lena, UBA, and Norma, B. Okay. Can you tell about the apartment for friends? There is a Sunny Pedro, a mother kitchen, a large living room. That sounds nice. Okay, Norma is now um, A, and Nancy is B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, a modern kitchen, and a large living room. It sounds nice. Okay, now Nancy's A, and Lena is B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is, is a sun bedroom, a mother kitchen, and large living room. It's so nice. Okay, so now Lena's A and Norma's B. Can you tell, tell me about the apartment for rent? Then it's a sunny bedroom, a mother kitchen, and large living room. Lena, you have one more line. <laughs> it sounds. <laughs> it sounds nice. So nice. So nice. Okay. So now Norma's A and Nancy is B. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, a modern, modern kitchen, and a large living room. It sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nancy's A and Lena is B. Can you tell me okay. about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, a mother kitchen, and large, large living room. It's so nice. Do we need to do it again? One more. <laughs> One more. Okay. So Lena's A and Norma's B. Okay. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny, sun, sunny, 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 sunny bedroom, a modern kitchen, and large living room. It sounds nice. Okay, Norma's A and Nancy's B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, a mother kitchen, and a large living room. It sounds nice. Okay, now Lena's A and Nancy's B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, a mother kitchen, and a large living room. It sounds nice. Okay. Any mm -hmm. questions? Mm -hmm. No. All right. Now look at the bottom. There's conversation one and conversation two. So what's in conversation one? Uh, one bed bathroom, a kitchen, and dining room. Okay. And what? Sunny dining room. That's right. A sunny dining room. 
And you might call the bathroom modern, you wouldn't have to, okay? So it would be just a bathroom and a kitchen and a sunny. Uh, you could call the um, uh, kitchen large. Sure. All right, now conversation two, what do you see? A modern, modern kitchen, a small living room, and sunny bedroom. Okay. okay. Any questions? So now you're going to fill in, in the description of the apartment, this information, the conversation one or the conversation two. So... Uh, Norma, you're A, and Nancy, you're B. Can you tell me about the, the apartment for rent? There is a, a small bathroom, large kitchen, and sunny dining room. It sounds nice. Okay, so Nancy's A and Lena's B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? Yes. There is a, a sunny, sunny, uh, living room, uh, mother kitchen, Large, large living, uh, so many bedroom. It's so nice. Okay. So Norm is A and Lena is B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a sunny bedroom, mother living room, more, um, large kitchen. It sounds nice. Okay, any questions? Do you want to do it again? Okay. So, um, Norma's A and Nancy's B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? There is a modern kitchen, a small living room, and sunny bedroom. It sounds nice. Okay. So now um, Nancy's A and Lena is B. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? Yes. Um, a large, large kitchen, a small living. Mm. Sans, it's so nice. <laughs> San Pedro. <laughs> Sorry, it's so nice. <laughs> okay, so Lena, you're A, and Norma's B. Okay. Can you tell me about the apartment for rent? Ladies, uh, Large kitchen, a small living room, and sunny bedroom. Okay, any questions? Mm -hmm. Do we need to do it again? Mm, no more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So on page 117, look at the home and read the sentences. 
So first it says there is a modern kitchen. There's only one. Yeah. There are two bedrooms. There's two more than one. So you use is if there's just one and are if there's more than one. Mm -hmm. okay. So how would you describe this house? Uh, how about kitchen? Kitchen, a modern, modern kitchen. Okay, how about bedroom? Uh, two, there are two bedrooms. And how about bathroom? Singular, plural. There is a, a bathroom, a one bathroom. Okay. And mm. what about the living room? Very uh, singular. They are plural. They, there is a small living room. If it's singular, if it's one, it is. And if it's more than one, like there's two bedrooms. So we, you would say there are two yeah. bedrooms. Everything else, there's just one, isn't there? Okay. All right, then F, read the story and write there is and there are. So if it's talking about and you have to go by the words after the line. The line is where you're going to put there are or there is, but it's the words afterward that's going to tell you there's six, there's two, there's a, meaning one. So read carefully after the line to be able to tell what to put on the line. Okay. Nancy, aquí no le entendí. Okay. La, la F. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a escribir there are o there is. There is es cuando es un solo, una sola cosa, un baño, una sala, un comedor. Uh -huh. There are es cuando tiene dos o más. Dos baños, tres cuartos. Entonces hay que llenar los espacios en blanco. La clave es ver la palabra que está después del, del espacio en blanco y te va a decir si es uno o más de uno. Ok, ajá. Gracias. Ok. Okay, so um, it starts out, I like my home. And then what is number one, Norma? Yes, there are. And go ahead and read the whole sentence. All the way to the period. There are uh, I like my house. There are six rooms. Yes. Okay. And number two, Nancy. There are two small bed bedrooms. Okay. And number three, Lena. The kitchen is all. 
No, no. No. The story. It's no. Right here. Number three. The kitchen is not all. No. no. It no. starts out it, there. No, 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 no. Right here. It's mother. The kitchen is mother. No, not here. Not here. Down here. Here. You have to read what it says here. Okay. okay. So okay. Norma, what do you have for number three? Uh, there is a living room. Do you see that, Lena? There is a mother teacher. No. A home teacher. That's mother number teacher. four. Three. Three is are a living room. That is. Is a living room. Es una sola línea, así que. Yes. Is, is, there yes. is, there is, there is a mother teacher. No, that's number four. Number four. Mm -hmm. uh, number three. Number three. Two is more. Nancy, could you explain to her where we are? Lina. No. Okay. No. I like my home. There is six room. There two small bedroom. Uh -huh. Is a living room. Okay. There is Lina in la tres there, there is. There is a living room. El tres. Mm -hmm. There is mm -hmm. a living room. There is, is a mother kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yes, now that's number four. Esa es, ajá, esa es la número cuatro, Lina. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Qué quiere ella ahora? La cuatro, la, la cinco. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Let's give Norma a chance for number one. Que le dé la oportunidad a Norma ahora, que Norma conteste. Okay. There is a large bathroom. Yes. And number six, Nancy. There is a laundry room in the basement. In the basement. Okay. 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 All right. Now then, part G. It says, read the story again, circle yes or no. There are three, room, three rooms. Yes, story. The story is what's in the blue box. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is, it's all, no, it's more. Yes. Okay. ¿A quién le pregunta? No está esperando que contestemos. Ah, la dos. No, está esperando que conteste la G, el ejercicio G, G. Is everyone finished? Yes. Yes. All right. So number one, Lena. There are three room is now. That's correct. How many rooms are there? 
six. Seven. Oh, there's six room. Yes. No. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Number two, Norma. The bedrooms are small. Yes. Okay. And Nancy, number three. The kitchen is all no. Because modern means that it's new. Mm -hmm. And the house may be old, but they've redone the kitchen at least. Okay, and then Lena, number four. Number four. Um, is, is a modern kitchen? No, number four in part G. Down here. Estamos en el ejercicio, Helena. Ay, me dejé. No, yo estoy lejos, ya voy. The kitchen is old. No, 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 no it's more. Number four, number four. Ah, the laundry room. Sí. The is. Uh, yes, 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 both yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's time to go. And we'll start on this page next week. Um, there's something down at the bottom that we haven't done yet, but um, it's time to go and have a good week. Thank so you. we'll meet next week, but then we won't meet for three weeks. And after that, on the 10th of January, we'll meet. So we'll meet December 13th and next January 10th. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you so Hello. much, Linda. Get <laughs> where you are. <laughs> what? Get where you are. Thank you. It's going to take a couple of months. <laughs> Can you imagine putting a cast on your shoulder? Uh -huh. Oh, this is my cast. Okay. Oh. So it's it's this the the bone that goes from your throat to the shoulder. It's up towards the shoulder end. So don't break it. It's not fun. No, really no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right, Lena. Yes. Okay, so I'll okay. see you then next week. Thank you so okay. much. Have a good week. Bye, you too. Happy birthday. <laughs> Lena, disfruta su viaje a Venezuela. Gracias, estoy feliz con el clima. Feliz. <laughs> Qué rico. Calientita, calientita. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. <laughs> okay, while well, Lena's hot, we'll suffer with the cold. How about that, ladies? Mm -hmm. Today, yes. <laughs> I'm raining too much, a lot in the morning. Yes, and it oh, hasn't yeah. been really cold for this area yet. There may be some days when we have snow or it'll be below freezing all day. So be prepared. For tomorrow, this is for tomorrow. I don't know. No. I'm just saying it may come. Okay. And Lena's going to be hot. And yeah. we can think about her being hot while we're cold. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye. Good night. Bye, Norma. Bye. Bye, bye Jesus. Okay.